this video, I'm spending 1000 resin in the next 24 hours to turn Yoimiya into a strong DPS. Currently, she's level 90 with decent artifacts equipped. So, with the 1000 resin, I'll be farming her artifacts and talent materials. And after we spend all the 1000 resin, we'll be doing a damage test to see how strong Yoimiya has become. Alright, so first, let's turn this 160 resin to 1000 resin by buying transient resin from Tabi. Thank you, Tabi. Then we consume the transient resin as well as consume 13 fragile resin to get the RAS 780 resin. Okay, nice. Now we have 1000 resin to spend. So since my Yoimiya is already level 90, let's start by maximizing her talents. And lucky for us, there's the overflowing mastery event, which means we got twice as many books than usual. Very nice. Right, so for the team, let's just follow the recommended element, Electro. Okay, this should be good. Mono Electro team with Yai and ride in. Wait, is it just me or this domain looks amazing? Great design! The first waves of enemies are just a bunch of samurais, which must see 3 R1 ride in quickly beat all of them. And I have to say, this domain is very easy. Alright, first resin pan of the day. Right, 980 resin left. Let's keep farming. Did I say this domain was easy? Alright, that was easy. <clears throat> Nice, we got a lot of books. 960 resin left to spend. We still got a lot more to go. But first, let's turn our resin to condensed resin so we can spend 40 resin per domain claim. And holy cow, we can make 24 condensed resin. Oh, oh no, 5 condensed resin max. Okay, then let's just craft 5 condensed resin for now. Let's also convert the silver books to the gold books. And we got 18 gold books. This should be enough to level up Yoimiya normal attack to level 9. As well as her elemental skill to level 8 before we need more gold books. So I went to the talent domain and let's keep going. For the team. Let's swap the Mono Electro team with the Freeze team. Alright, so here's how the team works. First, summon an Ice Storm with Ganyu Ultimate, then go backwards a bit and use Venti Alt for crowd control. Freeze them with Mona E and Alt, then go hand with Ayaka. Oh wait, nice. We still got the 2 times bonus. Right, we just need to spend all 5 condensed resin now. So it'll be a bit boring for you guys to keep watching me farm the same thing. So, with video editing, I claim the domain 5 times with 5 condensed resin. Very nice, we got a lot of books now. And we can now get Yuimiya ult from level 4 to level 7 before we ran out of gold books. So let's go back to the alchemy and craft the brown books to the silver books. Nice, we got 2 extra silver books. Thank you Leila. Then I craft the silver books to the gold books. Yuimiya's ultimate is level 8 now. But to level it up again, we need more gold books. So here's a montage of me riding the talent domain again. Well, after spending 5 condensed resin for talent books, we can only upgrade Yoimiya's ult to level 9. And to level up her E to level 9, we need 11 more gold books. So let's do this one last time by quickly making 5 condensed resin and kill them all with Ayaka. And claim the domain 4 more times. And holy cow, Layla just gave us an extra 4 books. That was 10% chance by the way. Everyone say thank you Layla. Thank, thank you Layla. Layla. Oh, oh my god, watch out! Dude's about to break an expensive looking ice cube. And there you go. Look at that beautiful 999. I'm satisfied. And now we can move on to artifacts farming. So I already have a pretty decent artifacts equipped for Yoimiya. Her stats are already pretty good. But we can always get more crit rate and crit damage. So with 340 resin and 1 condensed resin left, let's farm the Shimanawa artifact set. For the team, let's keep it very simple by using the same freeze team comp. And see if it works well. Right, let's stick to the routine. Spawn gun use Ice Storm. Venti ultimate to suck them all. That's sounds wrong, Mona ultimate and E to freeze them. And finish it off with Ayaka ultimate. And holy, that guy is so tanky. It somehow survived the entire combo. But no worries, cause if I stand in this area, my Ganyu becomes a little shotgun. Well worth it. And today's is our lucky day because we got two Shimanawa sets. Oh, we got an attack crown. But the substats, not so good. And the other one is cryo damage bonus. Now, if we can only change the letter C to P, that'll be nice. So before we can farm more, let's turn our 200 resin to 5 condensed resin again so we can save time and spend 40 resin in one claim. Uh, I guess let's use the same team. So I'll quickly beat the domain with the usual combo. And for this claim, we got an attack timepiece. But the substats, it could be better because we already got a really good one. So, let's keep farming. But as I was doing the combo sequence, this happens. 
There goes my Ayaka. You know, he just kind of appeared out of nowhere. Like, it's so hard to dodge that. Anyways, for the second claim, we got no Shimanawa set. Third claim, we got no Shimanawa set again. Ouch. Fourth claim, however, we got a timepiece. But a timepiece has bad substats. Guys, I'm starting to lose hope if we can get any good artifacts at all with the remaining resin we have. This is my last condensed resin, and come on, just please, something good? Okay, we got a Shimanawa flower, and of course, no crit substat. Alright, let's go back to the alchemy and craft the remaining resin to condensed resin. So we have 3 condensed resin and 20 resin left to spend. Hopefully, we can get something good. Okay, so in the spirit of leveling up Yoimiya, let's swap Venti with Yoimiya, and let's see how this team does against the enemy. I'm really losing hope, guys. So if you see the artifact like this, it's amazing. But if you see it like this, you'll realize it's HP. Guys, this is my last condensed resin. Please be good. ER? We don't need ER. Okay, it's time to spend our final 20 resin. Let's be the doing quick with you and Mia. I have no clue how to dodge that. Please, if the gutcha guts are listening, let this final claim be good. And we don't even got a single Shimanawa artifact. Well, there goes 300 resin on artifact domain, and Yoimiya artifact set still stays the same. But anyways, before we go and test our Yoimiya damage, give me a second to talk about the new Genjin Impact update. The new version 3.7 Dual the Summoner Summit was the biggest TCG update in Genjin Impact, in which Yai Miko and Yoimiya is getting a rerun. This means now it's your perfect time to get Yoimiya if you don't already have her, as well as the new Dendro Cat waifu from Inazuma, Kirara, providing insane shield support for your team. You you can also use the code in the video description to redeem 60 primo gems and 5 XP books. With that being said, all we gotta do now is to test our newly built Yoimiya. So, here's what happened. Oh wait, us, I got 8 seconds cooldown, hold on. No, 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 do your Kazuo thingy. Do your Kazuo skill. By the time it's done... Faster, faster, faster. 39, 64, 80k! 95! Oh! 83, 40! Oh my god! That's a lot of numbers. I feel good. Shall we try melt? Let's go. All right. Okay, come on. Let's go. Come on. Come, come. Let's go. Come on. Here it let's is. Go. This is it. This not is the speed. run. This is the run. Bend it alt. Bend it alt. Go. Come on. Food buff. Switch food buff. Ayaka. Food buffs. Quickly. Quickly. Ayaka's thing's about to run out. 80k? 50k? 200k? Oh! 200k? Oh my god. There it is. On the last hit as well. Yep. 200k. There it is. That's a lot of damage. Oh my god. I'm satisfied. Now the question is us. Can we get this even higher? I want to sleep. 